All right. All right, guys. So um, like I rightly mentioned, so we will be showing us briefly how to audit Linux services, right? How to set up auditing services on a Linux server. So quickly, so we'll see how to what, configure auditing services with audit.d, right? With audit D. So without further ado, so what I will be doing is, let me just give us an illustration. Now, assuming now, I have a, um, in my Linux machine, I have a finance.csv file. It's very important file, very important file. So in this file, it is about figures, you know, numbers. It's about figures and numbers. So now I have multiple users. I have a thousand plus, a thousand plus users in my Linux environment. And I have noticed that people keep tempering users. I don't know who they are. They keep tempering with this file and modifying the figures. They keep modifying the figures. I don't know who they are, but now I have called um, an expert, an expert auditing services, all right? To come and audit my entire Linux system, to check, guy, who is, who is that person? Who is that user trying to what? Finger, finger these figures, all right? For that, we would be setting up and auditing services. So let's hop to uh, my Linux machine. Um, just one second. Okay, all right, guys. So this is my Linux server. So let's connect um, with the, let's connect to this guy. Connect quickly, quickly, quickly. Come to my terminal. Come to my terminal. Come to my terminal. Paste it and let's go right so great so now this is my linux machine right and on this machine i have a file but before i go into that file let me show something something that makes some sense some sense so now sudo into as a root okay now um we need to install an auditing service all right and the package for that is called audit.d right i am on a red hat kind of flavor, which is Amazon Linux, okay? So I will just say yum install audit, audit. Uh, okay, it's telling me that audit is already installed and it's available, all right? Now let's check another package, audit-libs, let's see. Audit-libs is already installed. Now let me install everything consigned audit, all right? So if there are, Ever anything left is going to install. The beauty of audit is that audit comes pre-installed with your Linux server, with your Linux operating system. So if you don't see audit, then you have to install it. So now that we have audit, all right. Um let's 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 tell us something now. Audit configuration file is under etc. Um audit, audit. Let me just change directory. CD, it is the audit, then rules, rules, rules.d. Let me clear the screen. Rules.d, um, yeah, and audit.rules. I shall talk about this file later on. So this audit.rules, this is the file that you can permanently, you can permanently define your auditing rules, your auditing rules, your auditing rules. This is the file. Now, audit creates a log on, let's check the log location, var log audit. Now, in this location, look at where I am now, var log audit, we have a file called audit.log. So if I open this file, it just tell me that uh, just normal random things, okay? Doesn't make sense. Uh, type config change service that is just trying to pull up one or two changes that we are made by, by default, you know? by default, by the by the root user. So let's go out of here. Now let's start something that makes sense. Now, I have this file, etc pass wd, pass wd. And I have this file, etc, uh, okay, etc, etc pass wd. And I have this file, etc shadow, shadow, right? Now the etc pass wd file is a file that controls users. Whenever you add a user on a Linux machine, 
all right? It's going to update that file that a user was added, all right? The user will be added into that file. Now, when you change the password of any user, the password goes into what? The shadow file, okay? Great. Now, I want to monitor this file. I want to use the feature of system auditing to monitor this file, to check this file whenever there is any modification or there's a write on that file. So let's check, let's check. Now, I'll be using audit, audit.ctl, audit.ctl. So audit two comes with a, uh, a, a utility called audit.ctl. This audit.ctl is used to manipulate and set up auditing in your Linux file system. So here's the syntax. So I'll say audit, then watch. I'm giving you the syntax first. Let's start with the syntax. Let's start with the syntax. So it has to be audit CTL, then watch. Now, what are you watching? I'm watching a particular file. And let me see. Uh, I'm watching this file, file, file name to watch, file name to watch, all right? Then what are the permissions I'm looking for? Dash permissions, all right? In the permission, I will be looking for a write access and a an attribute or a modified, a modified access, which is known as we specify as A, all right? Then what am I doing? I'll be creating a key, key underscore name. So this key, I'll use the dash key to specify a key. It is based on this key uh, that I'll be, I'll use this key to filter whatever that has been, whatever modification that has been done on what, on this file. Let's, let's, let's do a demo, right? So audit, audit CTL, I'm going to be watching my ETC, Pass WD. Now, what are the permissions? I'm looking for a write permission. I'm also looking for a modified permission, which is A, space, the key. The key is name is, I can say, user underscore modify. Now hit enter. So what I have done so far, I have created a rule. I have created a rule that whenever this file is modified, please, all these CTL should let me know. All the things should let me know that there was a modification to this file. Now, so far, if we try to cut the log file, var log audit audit the log. Uh, okay, let me grab let me grab for user underscore modify. Let's grab for that guy now. So now it tells me that a rule was added. Added a rule operation. A rule was added by a rule. A rule was added. Type. The type of the audit is a, it's a config change, okay? This rule was created. So this is what we have in uh, in my audit log that has to do with what user underscore modify. Now let's go. Let's create another terminal where we would um, um create a user. So I'll open a concurrent terminal. So I'll go back to my stuff, my 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 Linux server. So I'll open another terminal. So on this terminal, same server guys, same server. So I'll sudo dash i. So here now I'm going to add a user. I'll say user add. User add, let me call it in Frank. Frank was added. Now, how do I know? Now, now come to my machine. I want to check my modification, my what has happened on my Linux server. All right. So I'll do my normal thing. I'll cut the log and grab and look for what user modified rule. So now is now populated. Let's see now. Now, there was a system call. Now, at this system call, what did happen? The, there, was, there was a call. This call was successful. And um, the call was performed by <laughs> UID. UID zero means you are root. Let's confirm. Now, how do we know? If I cut etc pass WD and grab for zero, if I grab for zero, I should see that the UID for the, 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 the user that has that UID and GID of zero is what is a root user. It means that someone somewhere used the root account to perform user ad. Let's, let's continue, guys. So uh, this is it. 
Now, the command that was executed was what? User add. That's the command, guys. Now, this was the binary that was executed. User add, user has been user add. And the key is pointing towards modified, user modified. So it means that someone created a user on my what? Linux file system. And the user that did that was what? Was the root. Similarly, let's go back. Similarly, if I need to change the password, all right, I need to modify if the password was changed, if any user's password was changed. So this is what I will do. I'm also create a rule for user passwords. I'll say audit, audit CTL, uh-huh, watch, watch where etc shadow. This is shadow file. Then the permission is what normal, right? And access. Then the key, I'll create a new key. The key will be what pass wd underscore modify. This rule has been created. Now, if I come here and grab for oh, here, I was grabbing. All right. So let me do my normal cuts. Uh, cut my log. So I'll look for pass wd modify. Pass wd modify. It tells me that this rule was what was added. Now let's try to change that user password, Frank password. So I'll say pass wd Frank one two one two. Let's check what happened now. Now let's try to what. Grab, you see now, let's check it out. Uh, there was a system call and the command was successful and uh, who executed it is root that executed it. And the command was what? Pass WD that was used. And the binary was on user being pass WD. It was captured by what? The key, the rule, the pass WD modified that I created, all right? So the rule that I created to monitor this file any modification to this file must be monitored, must be captured. This is auditing. Now let's now make everything look make sense. Let's now talk about everything that will make sense that we discussed here. Now I'm going to create a file, a, diff, a random user is going to create a file. Let's say the Frank user. Uh, let me exit. Let's now do a sudo su into Frank. Now this is the Frank user, all right? Now Frank created a file, pwd. Uh, Frank touch a file. Let's call it finance. There's a file called finance.csv. In this file, there's a lot of financial records. All right. Now I'm going to go, I'm just going to give, I, I, I want to make it such that everybody have access to this file. Everybody, everybody have access to this file. Um, um, let me exit. Uh, let me do a sudo um, ch ch mode um assuming assuming i'm just giving you an, an assumption but this kind of exposed permission is not is not welcomed all right it's not welcome i'm just going to show something on frank all right on frank and um on frank on frank's directory okay so it means that anybody now can access frank home and can access this file as well this finance file great now, this user, I want to monitor this file. I've set up, I've created this file already. So what I want to do now, I want to monitor that file. So what I will do is, I will do my audit, audit CTL. Then I will watch the file. I'm going to watch this file, home, frank, finance. I'm, I'm going to watch the file. Permission, uh, permission will be what? My WA. Then I'm going to create a key. Then file underscore modify. I've created a room to, modif to, to monitor this file, to monitor changes that will be made to this file. So anybody that makes changes to this file, I'm going to hold that person. I'm going to catch that person, guy. So this is what we'll do now. So let's let's now watch. Uh, cat, um, cat, um, var log, var, var log, audit, audit the log. Now let's grab for, let's grab for file underscore modified. So you can see this rule was added. Great. So now let's come back to this same system. Now let me create a user sudo uh sudo user add user add dinero. Okay. Now switch user to dinero. Sudo switch user towards dinero. Now dinero want to act smart by going into the file to modify the content of that file. So the narrow change directly to home Frank. 
Now, Dinero is here. Dinero try to access the finance file. Now, Dinero now, what we have, we have, we have Dinero salary. Let's, let's do it like this. This is a column. This is salar, salary, comma, um, okay, name. Because it's CSV file, name, comma, salary, all right, with other information. So name is Dinero, then salary is 200, 200,000, 200,000. But now Dinero opened this file and say, this is not enough for me because he has access to the file. He now added one zero, making it worth 2 million. So it means that the company is going to be, going to be paying Dinero 2 million per month. And that's what is there. We save and quit. So because we don't know, next month came, Dinero was paid 2 million. And every month, Dinero was being paid 2 million, 2 million, 2 million. But don't know what was happening. But someone now came that, no, this guy's salary is not really 2 million. His salary is 200. But I don't know what is happening. He decided to what? Call the services of auditors. The services of auditors. So the auditing came, the auditing came, team came and set up auditing on this file. They set up auditing on this file such that if there would be, if there is any modification, any right into this file, we would know. Now, how do we know? Now, the auditing came, they've, they've set up the system already and they, they, have, they have come forward for auditing. So they want to check this file if anyone have written any content into this file. So they came up and, and they tried to work. They try to cut this log and grab for what file modify the rule that is concerned with modifying the finance of CSV file. And they check, wow, wow, a lot has happened over the year, over the months. Now let's check. Let's look, let's look at the last one. Last one. There was a system call. There was a system call. And um, the UID is pointing to this guy. Wow. It's pointing to this guy. It was successful. Again, yeah, I saw no. Success, no. But let's look at the one that was successful. Let us look at this one that was successful, guys. Now, it is pointing to the same user ID. The same user ID, 1002. 1002. So what, what I will now do is, I will now cut etc pass WD. I will grab forward the UID. 1002. The moment I hit enter, ah, I will come to realize that yeah, 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 yeah. So it is Dinero that has this user ID. It is matching with what we have from the audit log, right? So this UID is matching with what we have on UID. Oh my goodness. Then we will come to know that, yes, so Dinero has been the one modifying his salary. He has been the one modifying his salary. So you can see the, the, the usefulness of auditing your system. This is it, man. This is it. And this is the direction that Frank teaches DevOps is actually transitioning into DevSecOps. I hope you've enjoyed this session, guys. And I hope I love to see you in our next episode. Thank you and have a wonderful Wednesday.